Hello friends, today we will see the short trick to solve resolution, full scale output voltage and step size based sums. So before starting the trick, we will see a quick discussion on DAC. So basically DAC is digital to analog converter. This input will be of digital and output will be of analog. So input can be a binary form and output will be in the form of sinusoidal. Basically it, it can be current, it can be voltage. Okay. So DAC comes like 4 bit DAC, 5 bit DAC, 6 bit DAC. So what does it signify? It signifies the size of DAC. So in general we can say the DAC can be of n bit. What will it say? It will say the size of DAC. Okay. So if suppose we have 4 bit DAC. So what does it mean? It can support 16 combination of input. Okay. So if we write the combination, we will have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 until 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So if suppose this DAC gives at the output 0 volt for 0, 0, 0 combination, for 0, 0, 0, 1 combination, it, it gives 0 0.5 volt and for 1, 1, 1, 1, suppose it gives 7.5 volt. Then this 7.5 volt will be the full scale output voltage. Basically the definition for full scale output voltage is the maximum output voltage driven by DAC and this step size is step size is basically the change in voltage from one step to the another step. Okay, so here the change is 0 0.5 volt. Okay, so the step size will be of 0 0.5 volt. One more term is there which is resolution. Resolution can be of unit less and can be with unit. Okay. So the formula the for unit less is 1 upon number of steps. Another formula is also there that is step size upon full scale output voltage. If you want to calculate this number of steps, the formula for that is 2 raised to n minus 1 and this n is basically the size of DAC. Okay. And this full scale output voltage formula is maximum step multiplied by the step size. Okay. This is a formula for unit less because you can see this number of steps will be in numbers. Okay. That means it will not have any unit. Okay. And uh, in this formula, step size will have unit of volt and this full scale output voltage will also have the unit of volt. So in uh, at the end, it will uh, it will be cancelled and we won't have any unit. Okay. So this formula is unit less. If suppose I take this full scale output voltage and keep it here. So it, the formula will be rearranged like this full scale output voltage upon number of steps. Okay. So number of step is in number, so no unit and full scale output voltage is in volts. So we can say the resolution can be in volts. The formula for that will be full scale output voltage upon number of steps or equals to step size. So what we can conclude is resolution can be unitless. The formula will be one upon number of steps equals to step size upon full scale uh, output voltage. And if the uh, resolution is with unit, so the unit can be volt or ampere depending upon the uh, input and the resolution uh, will be equals to step size. Okay. And the formula for step size will be full scale output voltage upon number of steps. Okay. Okay. Now we will see the sum. So sum is consider a 4 bit DAC. 4 bit DAC, the analog value corresponding to a digital signal of values 0000 and 0001 are 0 volt and 0.0625 volt respectively. So we have to find the analog value in volts corresponding to the digital signal 1111. Okay. So since we have 4 bit DAC, okay. First we will write the given data. It has 4 bit DAC. Okay. So which means n equals to 4. Analog value corresponding to digital signal, matlab 0, 0, 0, 0, we have 0 volt and for 0, 0, 0, 1, we have 0 0.0625 volt. So from this, we can uh, get the step size. So step size will be this minus this. So basically it will be 0 0.0625 volt. Okay. And we need to find the analog value corresponding to the digital signal 1111. So basic method to do this sum is we need to convert this binary number into decimal. So the decimal value for 1111 will be 15. Okay. So 15 multiply by step size. Okay. We'll give the uh, this analog voltage corresponding to this binary value. So this will be 15 multiply by 0 0.0625. So basically it will be 
15 multiplied by 0 0.0625 which is 0 0.9375 volt okay now we will see the another sum okay the sum is 8 bit dsc has full scale output current of 40 milliampere and the error of plus minus 1 percent of full scale value okay and the range of current for a digital input of 100010 is okay so basically the given data is we have 8 bit dsc okay so which means n equals to 8 right and we have given with full scale output current so basically full scale output current is 40 milliampere okay from this data we can find the step size right so formula for step size is full scale output upon number of steps okay so full scale output is 40 milliampere and number of steps will be 2 raised to n minus 1 basically n is 8 okay so uh, 2 raised to 8 will be 256 256 minus 1 will be 255 so 40 upon 255 milliampere so we will get 40 upon 255 so it will be 0 0.1568 milliampere okay now we have to find the range of current for a digital input of 1000010 okay so what i have said earlier uh, in in the earlier sum is that we have to convert this binary number into the digital and then we can find the uh, output corresponding to this binary input okay so for this 1000010 the decimal number will be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So basically 128 plus 2. So it will be 130. Okay. The decimal value corresponding to this binary number is 130. Okay. We will get the output current as for this 100010. It will be 130 multiplied by step size. Step size is 0 0.1568 milliampere. So we will get as 130, right? So it will be 20.3921 milliampere. Okay, now we get the current, but we have to find the range of current. Okay, so this range will be depend on this error plus minus 1% of the full scale value. So what will be the plus minus 1% of full scale value? Full scale value is 40 milliampere. So 40 milliampere multiplied by 1 upon 100. Basically, this is 1%. So it will be. So this 0, 0, 4 upon 10, 4 by 10, so it will be 0 0.4 milliampere. So we will get the range of current will be 20.3921 plus minus 0 0.4 milliampere. So if we subtract uh, 0.4, so it will be 19.99 milliampere to 20. Point this will be 347921 milliampere okay that's it for today thank you everyone